Hey everybody, welcome back to Live Free in Toulon, and today we are talking about Ryobi disrupting the market once again. Now this is the hobby market. Specifically, they're really going after Dremel, but not only Dremel, they're going after the entire market. Now this would be for crafters, these would be for makers, um, not so much construction industry as a whole, but just that really niche market of the hobby because it's a huge market, but... They haven't delved into it as much as what they can, and now they are showing and they're flexing with their abilities to delve into that market. So without further ado, I'm going to switch over to my computer. I'm sitting here in my um, awesome room. Now, this is where I make a lot of my 3D prints. I do a lot of my designing, and this is actually where I do all my crafting up here if I need to adjust something, if I need to solder. Um, so you can see up here... I have, and I don't know if you can see this very well, I have my rotary tool here, I have a glue gun on top, I do have uh, some chargers hanging on the wall on my new link system, and it's kind of cool actually because with this right here, you can actually see um, I'm, you know, I've used the link system and I have my crafting tools here and, um, you know, links right there. And, you know, how this works, I actually, I don't know if I've shown you all this. Uh, so this is the universal mount that I made for the link system. Now, it's not a sales pitch or anything, but if you're interested in something like that, something I found very useful, uh, you can check out the link in the bottom. So let's go ahead and jump onto the computer and we're going to look through all of the hobby things. We're gonna talk about the brand new platform with this is huge, this is big news. This is the four volt lithium ion platform that they have out. We're gonna talk about all the tools, the differences, and really what you should expect as you start to look at buying these. So let's So first off, as we look at our screen here, we can see that they are not only going for any type of customer in the crafters, they're looking at all. So if we look at my cursor here, you're gonna see they have the hobby station. We'll talk about these in detail in just a minute. You have the hobby station here. You have a detail sander on the bottom. You have three different sanders right here. So you have your square sander, you have your detail, which is your triangular sander. Then you have your rotary, which is round sander. Um, up at the top, you have your, now uh, this is a plunge type of saw. It uses a three inch blade. You have, this is just a mobile planer that's here. And then, you have your router that's sitting over here. Now, they're showing that because these are all on the 18 volt platform. Um, now, if you look at the station, we're gonna talk about this more in detail, but look at this cord that's going up through here. That is electric. That's a 1.4 amp new rotary tool that they have coming out. Um, over here, this is where you're gonna see all the new stuff that they currently have. You're gonna see this is an 18 volt, but it is a nice flexible magnifying glass and halo light. You're gonna see you know, some soldering irons here, which is 18 volts, but then hanging on the wall, this is that new four volt platform that we're talking about. You're gonna see a cutter, rotary cutter, you're gonna see the scissors, and you're gonna see a carver, and all that really great stuff that's here. You're gonna see some of the new HP tools that are coming in here. You have your heat gun here. So when you look at this picture, and the more you look at it, the more that you're gonna see, and the more that you actually realize that they are going for the entire hobby market, which is really cool. And I like to see that. So let's go ahead and jump over here. And first we're gonna take a look at, this is the light. This is the light that I am most, um, I, I guess you could say I'm most excited about. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. Now I'm gonna click on it and let's just show what it looks like. So you have your magnifying in the middle, you have your button right here that's gonna turn it on and off, and then this is a light bar that goes all the way around, so you could call it a light ring, and you have your clip here. Uh, you can see they're using it in a laboratory, which is kind of, or, uh, what is that, glasses? What are they making? I don't know, she's wearing a white coat, uh, but it goes from 250 to 500 lumens. That is really bright, and uh, it's really cool to see. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. You can see we have some hobbyists, so they're looking at coins really trying to get to the finer details on the coins. Uh, it's, it's always clamped on the edge, so they, they really wanna show that. Uh, now it's sitting on top of the table, so you can see that as well. So they're doing a great job. They're looking at, um, you know, the construction industry. They are really doing a good job. How can we hit as many people as possible while getting this product ready? Let's get as many people as excited as possible. Let's go ahead and X out of that. So that is my favorite tool. It's on the 18 OnePlus uh, platform. And I can guarantee you, I will have that as soon as it comes out. 
So we can go right back to the new products here. This is the uh, 18 volt one plus uh, brushless cordless rotary tool. This is compact. This is really nice. It has a, a machined aluminum grip right here at the end. And that's going to come in really handy, especially for durability. Let's go over here. Um, and now here's something really cool. It has a foot pedal capacity or capability. And what that's going to allow you to do is to focus on the task at hand with your hands, um, but yet use your feet to control. Uh, it would be variable speed. Um, it would be, you know, turning it on and off. I think you're really going to be able to use things. They're showing this for jewelry and things like that. That's nice, you know. Uh, but then they also go from jewelry to a, <laughs> you know, they, they have a rotor sitting up on a table for a mechanic and you can see it's hanging as well in the background. So, you know, a little bit of messaging there that you can see. Um, so this, this is a, a really nice tool. It's got the HP technology built into it. And I would say that's more for the lighter duty. Now check this out. Now we have one of these and I actually showed it to you in the video just a minute ago, but I have the non HP version of this tool. Oh, which works just fine. But this has the foot pedal capacity uh, capability as well. And let's delve into this here. Okay, so we have the foot pedal here. This is just a bigger version, something that you're going to be able to, uh, you know, do some of the bigger work with. And it, and it has a little bit more bulkiness to it as well. So that's really nice to see. It's on the OnePlus platform as well. You know, I think once we look at some of these tools, um, you know, really what we're looking at is... Um, Ryobi's ability to just, you know, respond to some of those customer needs. They've heard a lot of complaints and they're trying to do that. You know, it's pretty interesting um, because this works with a lot of the rotary tools. And we're going to talk about those in just a minute. Um, you're going to be able to do a lot with this hobby station. Uh, you can see it has a clamping plate down at the bottom and it looks like it's removable as well. So you could change out that plate. This is where you would put your rotary tool here. Let's go to the next image. Um, right here, you can see that this will go 90 degrees, so you can change your degrees. You have your handle, and this is for the plunge. Now, you can set your height on this vertical bar in the back, and then this is a tool hanger or your wire management that can hang here as well. So, you have tool compartments in the back. I think, you know, as we look at this, it's really cool. You can see, you know, what they're using it for, for sanding. Uh, you can see some of the tools. This is uh, some of the new platform tools. Um, and then they're showing the corded version. So remember that when we're looking at the corded version and the cordless version of the rotary tools here. Now, they're, they're going after the entire industry. So they announced a new platform, but don't be confused. The rotary tool we're looking at right now, this is not a uh, part of the platform. In fact, this is a plug-in direct tool. This is a 12 volt. Now, it, it boasts 35,000 RPMs for powerful performance, but let's take a little bit closer of a look here. So, it has an LED indicator of when you plug it into a wall, and that would be any type of uh, plug that you may have. This is what is going to make the difference is because you can't take the battery out. So, it's not like you can replace and put multiple batteries in this. you got to charge this. Now, it is a more powerful version than the new platform, which is only a 4-volt but you don't have to have a separate charger. You can just plug it in. So I guess you could consider that a positive. They're going, you know, looking at electricians, looking at, you know, maintenance personnel, looking at plumbers, um, you know, and I can say that they've done a, a pretty, pretty good job here in marketing this particular tool. But you can also see that down at the bottom here, you have some locks and this is plunging locks, how far you can go. So you have that depth control. Um, you know, and then you have your angle control here as well. Diving into the new platform, I think this is really important that we start with the battery so we understand what this whole platform is about. So as we take a look at this uh, battery here, you're going to see that, uh, first of all, it's a 2 amp hour, it's a USB lithium battery, and it's 4 volts, uh, 2.0, which is 7.3 watt hours. Uh, for the voltage that it puts out. But one thing I really want you to focus on is look right here. This is a USB-C. Now, that means that you can charge this from any USB-C that you have. And with that being said, you don't need a separate charger, but you, you need to make sure that, um, you know, you have the right cords in place and you have the right charging blocks in place as well. So let's go ahead and you know, push this forward. Here's some of the new tools it works in. I like the two amp hour 
um, you know, capacity for this as well. That's pretty nice for some of these smaller tools. But if you're going to use it for an extended period of time, I hope that they're going to be able to get a 4 amp hour um, out of that as well. So with this tool here, you can see it is a really nice uh, looking blade. I'm not sure. It looks like maybe a 2 inch blade. Um, but it does 270 RPMs. It's a self-sharpening blade, so they must have some honing here inside in order for that to work. Uh, you have a base on here, which allows the material to go up in between it, so you can cut it really nice. And it's on the new platform. So that's an interesting thing. Let's keep looking at the pictures here. So it's cutting a, a open cardboard, which is nice. That's a fibrous material, because I mean that's what it is. So you can dull some blades up pretty quick on that. Now we're looking at carpeting. This is really cool. I like that you can cut carpeting with this. Now I do a quite a bit of my own DIY carpeting um, and I have a carpeting uh, cutter that slides up under the carpet kind of like this, but it just uses razor blades. But this I, I'm sure would cut a lot easier, which is kind of cool. Um, and then maybe this is why they actually bought it because the packaging is so secure. It's really hard to do. <laughs> it's really hard to open. Um, being, from uh, Ryobi, but as we take a look here, this is a carver, and I think the pictures are going to tell the tale, you know, for this tool. It runs off of the platform, we know that. So, this is 14,000 strokes per minute. So, what you're going to be, you know, feeling is a lot of vibration from it, but with a stable hand, you're going to be able to really carve with this. Now, it's the industry's first cordless power carver. Well, I think that's really going to take the carving world by storm if it's the first one, right? So you can see they have the chisel in here and carving. I'm sure they're going to come out with a lot of accessories for this. Now, what I would see is really nice for this is that you could do some mortise cuts if you're doing any doors or something like that. This would come in handy. Okay, so this is the uh, new platform on the 4 volt. And this is the rotary tool. So as we look at this picture right now, you're going to see it has five variable speed settings, the on and off switch. It has a spindle lock button, which is really nice. So whenever you change the bit here, it's a compact design, and which is really cool because this is handheld. Now, if you take a look at if you take a look at the other ones, uh, and that's the bigger ones, which have the flexible shaft that comes off of it, those are handheld as well which are really nice, but this comes as a kit and you're going to be able to USB charge this as well, um, but you're going to be able to change the batteries out to have your four volt batteries, which is really nice. So, which means you have to take the battery out to actually charge it. Um, you know, they're showing a, a lot of good things here, showing it for jewelry. It looks like for some locksmith or restoration. Um, you know, they're doing some carving on pottery. Um, and then you have your quick change colet that's on here. It looks like it's a quarter turn for four times faster accessory changes. I can appreciate that. So if you use your spindle lock and you're able to go ahead and use that uh, change, uh, that's that's pretty nice, right? So, okay, so the last thing that we're going to look at with the new tools coming out, this is a plug-in. It's a 1.4 amp rotary tool. And, you know, what I would really like to point out is this is what you want to use that hobby station for. It has the power to really cut through. It has the power to do a long period of work. So you're not relying on batteries and you're going to get the most power out of this one. You can see it has your depth control. It has your cutting feature here as well. Um, you know, it has a lot of it has a lot of great features on here. Um, you know, and let's take a look at some of the pictures. You know, you have your on and off, you have your spindle lock, which is really great. Um, you have really good grip zones. Over molding is really good. Your uh, variable settings as well. They're showing it cutting certain things. So, you know, some of the industrial has the quick change uh, collet on there, which is super nice. Engraving, you know, stainless steel mugs, which is cool. And then they go back to this, this whole operation here uh, where they're showing, hey, Here's your hobby station. That's what you can use this for. Um, and they're just showing a lot of great advertising. Now, what I'm getting out of this tool is that, yeah, you've got to plug it in. And that's just fine that you have to plug it in. But they're going to go after that industry for a reason. And they're giving you all the rotary tool options for a reason, right? So you need to be able to have the power. You need to be able to have the mobility um, and you need to be able to have that one platform. So whatever you need in the hobby and the, and the rotary tools is huge in the hobby field. 
you know, you're going to be able to have it there. So this is a big overview that we've done. We've looked at the hobby tools, not just the new platform, but some of the new tools that they have coming out. I hope that this helped you all out in some way, and I hope that you liked the video as well. If you did, hit that like button, and I hope that you subscribe, and I really hope that I see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.